So Garriott finally um, is wrapping up some of the bigger projects with work and stuff. So he's got a little bit more time. He's been working pretty much every weekend. Um, so I decided to go ahead and plan us a backpacking trip. And it'll be a lot of fun. It might be a little hot, but we'll survive. It's all, we will be in the shade pretty much the whole time. So, and it has uh, mixed reviews on all trails. Um, this loop trail. But this is also the first time um, we've ever done a loop backpacking trip. We've always done like an out and back. So that'll be fun too. We made it to our first overlook. It's called Snoopers Point. And it's, it's a pretty good view. This is basically right at the parking lot. So it doesn't really count. <laughs> I don't know if Lindsay mentioned it before, but we are doing the Pot Point Loop Trail. Um, it's 11 miles. The campsite is eight miles in. Uh, and so then tomorrow we'll just have to do, I think, three miles out. So yeah, we've gone about three miles. Uh, I think it's just under eight and a half miles to get to the campsite. Um, so we're not halfway, even halfway yet, but um, we've been hiking for three hours. So I don't, I don't know. I hope we can get there before dark. But this trail is just kind of a bushwhack, uh, and it's up and down a lot. There's lots of rocks and roots and stuff. Like that's the trail. I mean. It's not, it's not very well defined, but we'll see what happens. So, uh, one of, well, I think the most unique feature about this trail is this natural bridge. And it's pretty cool. All covered in vegetation and whatnot. Um, I didn't know there are rattlesnakes out here, but Lindsay informed me that there are. Copperheads, I guess, right? Yeah. And I've never actually seen a live adult rattlesnake. Um, but I've never heard one. And now I have. It scared the crap out of me. Look for the stripes, you know, on it and the spots. It's right there. It's right in, there's like, a, there's like, see between this tree? Yeah. This tree. Yeah. All it's those right trees. in the, and right between these two trees. Yeah. And then out. Three feet. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. See it? No. How do you not see it? It's I don't know. It's big. I just don't. It's like the size of my, it's like as round as my forearm. And then there's the little, like the dead one to the right of it. Mm -hmm. it snakes right in the middle of all those. Past the ferns. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Holy cow, that's a huge one. Yeah, isn't it? Oh yeah, I do see it. It is it. big. It is really big. We just stopped for a little break um, to eat some snacks and drink some extra water, but I noticed that there were these tiny little bugs. Like, see if I can find. I don't see any more. Bugs like this? They almost look like freckles or dirt? I'm pretty sure they're chiggers. I've never had chiggers before, but I'm pretty sure that's what those are. They were like all over my legs and all over my arms. So I took a, uh, baby wipes and tried to get them off as best as I can. And then I put some deep bug spray um, on, on us to maybe kill them. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that blows. Um, we were just talking, this might be like the backpack trip from hell because we're so hot. Um, it's so sweaty and there's really not like a great payoff or anything. Um, we don't think we like the natural bridge and then like the view at the beginning. Um, but even this camp spot, um, we are going to like, you can actually drive to it and walk right into it. Um, so it's not like you have to backpack to do it. We just thought, oh, it'd be a good exercise, you know, it'd be fun to hike, you know, a fun trail. And the trail's been okay. Um, it's a little, it's pretty overgrown. Um, 
but yeah, we're not not having fun. We still have good attitudes, but we're not loving life. We could have been wearing pants from the get-go, and we kind of thought that, but it was so hot and humid. Um, when we started, we were like, uh, you know, I'd rather be cool. Um, and my hiking pants don't fit anymore, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, so should have worn pants. Um, the whole time. Lesson learned there for sure. Garrett's reaction to walking through the spider webs. <laughs> it's so stinking funny. Oh, it's so good. I just, just don't like it. I don't know why. <laughs> nope. You know, everyone knows that feeling. When you're walking and you, it's too late and you just see this big old spider going right into your face. <laughs> There's just no reason to scream. <laughs> The walking or the uh, trekking poles are perfect spider web catchers. Leave a message for future hikers and runners. This book was left here on September 9, 2017. Please be courteous and return this notebook and pens into the Ziploc bag. Hope you're, bag. Hope you're enjoying your time in the woods. Let's see the last person. I can't read that handwriting. Out for oh, a wait. run. Seven twenty-two eighteen, and it's August something. It's August ten. <laughs> if there is still a Toyota Rav Four, nineteen ninety-six white by Monday, the eleventh of the June, send help. This trail has taken my soul. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this trail sucks. <laughs> there are at least a million ticks here, dog. <laughs> It'll be easy, I said. My pack's not too heavy, I said. <laughs> In the zone, all alone. Holy ticks! Beware! Now back to the war. <laughs> of attrition that is this trail. Why does this trail suck so much? We made it to an overlook and can't really see anything. <laughs> you can hear the boats down there. We know that's the Tennessee River. Well, and that's Raccoon Mountain, which we've been mountain biking here. Yeah. You can't see it, it's way out there. What else? Oh, I got stung by a bee. And my ankles all swelled up. Oh, and there's some more triggers. It's all red. It's swollen. A little sweat bee got stuck under the tongue of my tennis shoes. Oh. So, we made it to camp. In the dark. And... Now we're just hanging out for a little bit. We'll probably try to make some food, but right now we're watching this giant centipede crawl all over. Um, this camp spot actually would be pretty cool. We'll have to video it in the daylight, but it was not worth the walk to get here. So we're just gonna eat some snacks and then make our beds and go to bed and then get out of here in the morning. Hello. All right, good morning. So the nighttime sleep went pretty good. Um, I think we got a couple hours at least, but it was pretty warm and sticky. Um, so that made it kind of hard to sleep. As you would imagine, the dogs were kind of annoying. Um, Ella has like a piece of grass stuck in her throat or something because she was eating grass all day yesterday. That was annoying. But, yeah. So we're just ready to go. Well, we made it back to the car. This trail sucked. Um, but I'm glad we did it. Been working so much. I'm glad we got out. Had some adventure. We saw the rattlesnake, which was fun, and we learned about chiggers, which so far hasn't been not fun, uh, but it might be very not fun come tonight when we get all itchy, or if we get all itchy, and that's about it. Got lots of exercise. Yeah. Those are all good things. It was fun to be outside. 
I don't, we just shouldn't have done such a long one. What? Tick. Get it. Get it, please. On my shirt. Oh, oh. So many ticks. So many. Yeah, there are a lot of ticks out here. Hey, Okie. It's like 7 a.m. and I feel like I could wring my shirt out. I feel like I jumped in a pool. I'm just so, so sweaty.